Wow, hello my people. Thanks for subscribing to my channel. Your wish has always been my command. Thanks always. Well, meanwhile, this is another one. All right, this is another one. Okay, on this one, Undo election. SARS should not be ended just because of their brutality. Governor Akere Dulu, as the Undo state gubernatorial race draws closer, the people and the candidates are all tensed up waiting for the main day to arrive. The election would be second to the most anticipated election coming in after the Edo state gubernatorial election. The Ondo election has three main contenders, the incumbent governor, the PDP candidate and the deputy governor, but tonight it appeared to be just two people battling for the seat of the governorship position. The deputy governor did not come in for the debate. While the debate was hot and red, the moderator Shion asked a very important question. One that would be that every young Nigerian youth want to hear him talk about his response was rather cold to many. This is known through the reactions online. Okay, the governor and present candidate of the All Progressive Congress APC, Roti Miyakeridulu, said that the problem is not ending the SARS because of the mere brutality. He stated that the people who run that part of the force should be the one questioned. While almost all the youth of Nigerian protest online for the SARS move and era to be ended, the governor stands on a completely different ground away from the youth for SARS not to be ended. It was not the idea that SARS should not be ended, but is hurting some persons. But the way the governor stated it, he said that should not be ended because of their brutality. I wonder why else the youth have been crying for SARS to be ended, if not for their brutality. Governor Kiridolu's comment on SARS may to a large extent affect his outcome in the forthcoming election. There are more strategic ways to answer such questions, knowing fully well that the larger population are standing up and waiting for that very question. While answering the question asked by the moderator Sheung about his stake on the end SARS protest and their brutality, the governor said, I, don't, I do not think that the problem with SARS is with their brutality and way of operation. I mean, they have proven useful in recent times. There are less robberies than before. The solution does not lead to handing it. SARS should not be handed, but because of their brutality, the people who run the SARS should be the ones answering the question. He said so many other words that post E is in support of the operation of SARS, but added that the leaders, that is those who run it, be questioned. And the youth, of course, are not in agreement with the way Akeredolu answered the question. And meanwhile, a lot of them have gone against Governor Akeredolu on this one. Okay, and then. A lot of people have said a lot of things on social media on this, on the statement made by Governor Akoridulu on the fact that SARS should not be ended. And um, a lot of people were like, wow, what is this man saying? What is he saying? So some people are just surprised that this kind of answer can be given by a governor who is contesting an election when he knows fully well that a lot of the youth are against it. Hmm. That is serious. Okay, Stephen Femini said, you guys are jokers. Sax must be ended. Meaning, the governor is a joker on this one. 
all right and a lot of things has also been said so far and um, Stephen Olaleke is saying that just wait until the election debate eats the topic of education and see Aketi shoot himself on the foot. Educational sector has failed under the government of Akiridulu. And someone has also said that the entire police force needs reformation. And what did he do about people running sacks? Okay, and that has been said so far. Who are the people running it? Me or my late father, Abi? I hate nonsense, Jerry. All right, a lot of people have gone against Governor Akeridulu on his answer towards the fact that SARS should not be ended. And um, a lot of people are not happy. In fact, most of the youth are not happy with these answers. And um, some people are now saying that now that you are contesting for an election, and you want people to vote for you and knowing fully well that most of the people that will be voting in this election are youth and what the youth have said they don't want and that is giving them problem you are saying that don't be handed okay now well a lot of people say well maybe you don't want to remain as the governor of that state that is what they have said so far and the family of these people can never be a victim of their menace and that is it. He said most of you will be saying they should not enter no answers. Meanwhile, your own family members have never experienced such simply because most of them are not even in the country. So why wouldn't you say that SARS should not be handed? So what is the benefit in in this country? What have they benefited? The masses? Nothing but havoc. And you know, a lot of people are just like wow. This man has not said the right thing at all. Okay, and um, Murphy Oshari is saying that all these are just political gimmick to cajole the people into believing they are for you. All right, well, maybe or maybe not. A lot of things have been said. And, well, guests have said that Akere Dolu, for this statement, forget winning. Just pack your load and go. Hmm, that's serious. All because you want to win elections. All these politicians are wicked. They care only about themselves and their pocket. Well, I blame those voting for them. And one billion is saying that, oh God, I just prayed that they come close to your son and daughters. Then you will know what the masses are suffering and that is that has been all that has also been said so far well to me this is a game of politics of which we have known well and the truth of the matter is on that day somebody must emerge a winner well the thing is everybody has his or her own freedom of speech if the governor has said something that has not you known backed up or has not supported the views of the society that is left to him but i know that everybody has who he wants to vote for in his heart and that is why we're praying that the election will be a free and fair one so the, let the good lord continue to help nigerians on this one well let me have more takes from you on this and remember to subscribe for more updates thanks and god bless